The month of Ramadan, the Indonesian government is anticipating travelers crossing from Sumatra to Java to be going through the Bakahani port in Lampung to board ferries as travels make their way back from Ido Fitter celebrations. Due to potential congestions, an alternative route is set to be in place through the Panjang port. Marking the end of the holy month of Ramadan, the Indonesian government is anticipating travelers crossing from Sumatra to Java to be going through the Bakauheni port in Lampung to board ferries as travelers make their way back from Idul Fitr celebrations. Due to potential congestions, an alternative route set in place is through the Panjang port. As millions of Indonesians are making their way back from their homecoming travels for Idul Fitr, the Indonesian government is operating the Panjang port in Lampung, as they are anticipating travelers to take this alternative route if the Bakauheni port is congested by returning travelers. This alternative port is open to control the flow of vehicles so that ferry crossings will be smoother. Indonesian Minister of Transportation Budi Karya Sumadi says that larger vehicles such as trucks and other logistic vehicles must go through the Panjang port to minimize traffic at the Bakauheni port. As for the ferry route from the Panjang port, the return route will go to the port of Ciwandan in Banten. Kami merencanakan di sini ada 8 kapal yang relatif besar dan dari panjang langsung ke Cipuandan. Artinya jalur daratnya berkurang cukup panjang di Lampung, hampir 70 km, dan juga di Merak berkurang kurang lebih 5 kilo. Harapannya tentu tidak terjadi suatu lonjakan yang di Bangkohuni. Kami minta kepada uh, Kapolda, Pak Lantas untuk e, mengarahkan kendaraan-kendaraan logistik ke Panjang karena e, harapannya e, Bangka Uni tidak mendapatkan e, kendaraan truk yang besar supaya Indonesia's Minister for State-Owned Enterprises, Eric Tahir, disclosed that there is an increase in the number of vehicles, specifically cars, crossing through the Merak port. Currently, the Minister for State-Owned Enterprises is working together with PT ASDP, Indonesia Ferry, to prepare the Merak port as a means of travel for only cars and motorcycles. Meanwhile, logistic vehicles such as trucks must go through a different port. Pada kenaikan kendaraan roda 4 sampai 27 persen, ini juga membuktikan artinya apa? Tingkat ekonomi masyarakat pun meningkat. Nah, karena itu tadi yang disampaikan oleh Pak Menko dan sesuai dengan orang Pak Menko, ke depan nanti kami dari Kementerian Bumn akan menggambarkan ulang bersama tentu pihak Polri dan pemerintah daerah Pak Gubernur. Apakah merak ini akan tetap kita lakukan sebagai The ASDP Indonesia Ferry Company predicts the peak flow of transportation coming back to Java will occur on Sunday, 8th of May. With a total number of passengers reaching 228,000, which is a 20